We're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Meet Me at the Sew Machine. And we're doing the schoolgirl school girl sampler. And it's fun. And yes, we didn't have a video last week because Peter went on vacation and didn't tell anybody. He snuck away. I don't know if he went to the Bahamas or... To his backyard which is more likely uh but anyway uh we didn't get to have one last week i was prepared but then i forgot he was on vacation so anyway he's back hi peter hi don and uh, did you miss me yep yeah, and he looks refreshed and uh he's got a beard again and uh so we're off to the races with uh back to filming now We've switched the calendar since Peter left. I mean, yeah, since Peter was gone. So we're into May, and it's May 8th or May 9th. Is it May 8th or 9th? 9th. Today's the 9th. See how time flies? <laughs> I've been sewing a bunch. I have been sewing a bunch. Got my Charles chips. Thank you, Vicki. I'm going to say that every time I pick this up. Thank you, Vicki. And I was able to get 10. While Peter was on vacation, I was sewing. Did you sew while you were gone, Peter? I did. Did you get? I did. Okay, so 10 more blocks in my potato chip tin. Hip, hip, hooray. Look, it's getting full. Yeah, that one's a Might have to get me the jumbo Charlie chip tin. Wow. I know. That's awesome. Isn't it great? <laughs> There's a lot in there. And it's only uh, May. That's ridiculous, Dawn. I know. I'm pretty excited. And that's just beginners and enders. I'm not sitting and making them. So that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. And then, um, yeah, I've been working hard. Uh, what else is going on? Chloe learned a new trick. She learned how to dance. Oh. She can dance. She's so cute. Love her. But anyway, this month's, I mean, this week's blocks are going to be block 13 and 14. And they're called Diamond in the Rough. This one's diamond in the rough. And spool and bobbin. So this looks like a butterfly to me, but anyway, that's called spool and bobbin. So this must be the spool, and this must be the bobbin. How cute is that, huh? Peter, I love your choices of colors here because I love how this black with the beautiful uh, coal, I mean cheddar, Swirling Thanks, in there. Dawn. Love that. Love that. Love that. And then, of course, you know, he's doing that purple thing. And you know how I'm loving that purple with the cheddar. And his background had some direction. So he was very disciplined in putting his directional fabrics. Do I get to talk about yours? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I love how you use this background in combination with this color here to pull those leaves. Mm -hmm. And then I also loved how you did two different scales, small scale and a medium mm -hmm. scale. On so purpose. those work together really well. And then, of course, these two contrast really well for your center there. Thank you. And mm -hmm. I'm stealing this one. Are you? Why? What's so that attractive purple, about it? That Is that purple, what you love? Love that color. Uh -huh. I hope that's in my fat quarter bundle that I have in my If stash. it's not, I bet I have some I could uh, <gasps> give. Yeah. Oh. It yeah. makes me so happy. Yeah. Now, this one's really cool because you have this dense, dark background here on the center, but um, your background here works well with it, even though this is a strong print to mm -hmm. put with the light, but with the dark, it works really well because mm -hmm. you have Definitely. that dark, really small detail, but mm -hmm. dense, dense centers. And then I love this dark fabric here, but yet it's that hint of color to pull out your little um if you look mm -hmm. closely that that color is in those little circles right right and on camera i can't really tell what color the little flecks are but they look like they pull out of here a little bit uh -huh. on camera they pull very cool yeah love it love it and then we have cappy over here you know oh, happy she's she so do? bright and cheery she's got her flamingos again oh i didn't see those but look at what she did different than us she made these the same color I where like we switched it. them out isn't that fun I how like that it. gave that more of a diagonal uh look to it her looks block. like kissing fish it's fish kissing yeah it's very fun and then of course over here 
she's loving this swirl fabric, and and I'm liking I'm it liking too. That swirl I am liking too. it too. Yeah, and then she's got her dancing flamingos, and it looks so, like that one has a belly itch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See where it's scratching its yeah, little belly? I think that's its back. I think it is in its no, belly that's down his there. Back there. Because look where his legs are attached. See? The legs are attached oh, here. Oh, yeah. Look he's at scratching that. his belly. Oh, he's got his head down. Oh, I see that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that is pretty funny. Uh, maybe he's got a flea. <laughs> <laughs> Or, he, or or the flamingo hit a snack that in there somewhere. <laughs> he hit a snack. A flamingo snack. What do flamingos eat? I don't know. I don't eat fish. It. We'll, they we'll got have big. To, they got big scoopers. We'll have to look that up. Did you say shrimp? They eat like really fine, like krill, like real tiny shrimp. Yeah. Little tiny shrimp. Little she tiny says. Shrimp. That's what makes them pink. Oh, that's what makes them pink. They don't eat pink stuff. They don't turn pink. I eat shrimp. I'm not pink. <laughs> Maybe you have to have a 100% uh, yeah. shrimp diet. Now, something that came in this week that I ordered for myself, and I said, Lenine, if you want to, you can get some for the shop, but I want these. They come in six colors, and what they are, they're calling them buckets, okay? And what they are is they're really heavy canvas. Heavy canvas. Heavy canvas. And they are kind of like a bucket, but they're made... To fit into these cubes. See how it fits in that cube? Oh, take this away. Let me get this one. So you put stuff in it. They call your potato chip blocks and they don't fit in your uh -huh. potato chip tin Right, anymore. right. <laughs> so some things you might want to see in your cubes and some things you might not want to see in your cubes. You know what I'm saying? So See how nice that looks in my cube there? And it's got cute uh, quilt patterns on it. I think it's cuter than those uh, drawers that you buy. And it comes in six colors. There's the red one and the teal one. And of course, my favorite, the green one. And then we have a pink one. Is that pink? A pink one, pink, a blue one. Blue and orange. And an orange one. Sherbert. So, I think they're really, really pretty. I can't wait to fill mine up with stuff. You know, you always have stuff that's not, wouldn't say is as attractive as some other stuff. So, you want to hide your stuff. And these are perfect. So, we do have them in stock. I don't even know how much they are. So, anyway, they're very cute. Love them. If you've got some cubes and you need some storage, uh, hiding storage, these are awesome. Love them, love them, love them. Been waiting on those for a long time. They showed us those at market maybe three years ago. I don't know, but wow. I knew when I saw them, had to have them. Because you know me. Got to have it all. Got to have all the gadgety goodness. The gadgety goodness. So, how about if we get to making the blocks today? Okay, let's I'm going to bring it. these over. Take my shoes off. Look, I still have a pair of shoes. How did I get home without a pair of uh, without shoes on? Why do I have an extra pair you, of shoes on here? Yeah, how did that happen? I don't know. I must have brought my green slippers. Or Those something. look like nice shoes too. Yeah, they are nice shoes. But now I've got an extra pair of shoes here for some reason that I don't know anything about. Woo! Man, my machine. I feel got like dusty. I feel like Mr. Rogers had an extra pair of shoes where he went. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. He had those. Uh, was it the red tennis shoes or the white tennis shoes? His I don't know the color, but he took off his shoes and then put on he other always shoes. Put, he always put on his tennis shoes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, man, it feels like forever. Now, I have been sewing at home. It has been forever. I've been sewing at home like a mad woman. I finished up a quilt at one one o five this morning. and uh, Top secret sample quilt? Top secret sample quilt. Got that off to Moda this morning, so that felt really good. And but you know, when you sit down at a different sew machine, it's kind of different. So anyway, let's start with number one. Well, actually, block 13, Diamond in the Rough. Now it uses two different backgrounds, but because 
My background is this gray uh, fabric that Peter gave me. I still wanted to use two backgrounds, but I didn't want them to be different in color because I still want this to appear as my background. So I, I found another print in that same collection that was just about the same color, but a little bit different texture. So I think that's going to work out really good. And then... I wanted my diamond, because it's diamond in the rough, I wanted my diamond to be two shades of green. <gasps> I love it. Isn't that going to be fun? You're doing a green diamond. I'm doing a green. It's going to be an emerald. Mine's going to be an emerald in the wait, rough. Wait, wait. Is, is your block going to be called Emerald City? Emerald emerald in, the, emerald in the bluff city. Emerald in the city? Emerald in the rough city. Okay. <laughs> wait, rough, rough city. emerald in the city or emerald <laughs> in the rough city? <laughs> that is one of my favorite movies. Wizard of Oz, all that emerald green. Yes. All the, everybody's dressed in green. I figured it would be. Everybody's dressed in green. The Did you like how green. I threw that out there? I love it. I love it. I would live in that castle, that green castle. That definitely would be awesome. So anyway, I cut two. I cut two of one color and two of the other color for the background. And if you don't have this uh, diagram on your the bed of your sewing machine, you can draw a line on the backs of your diamonds, okay? And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down. It doesn't matter which corner you put it on, but what matters is that you pair up like this one and this one have to be this. So you wanna make sure that you get the same background with the same diamond color. So that's going to be those. And then this one is going to be this. And I think this one's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be different than this. Because this is two very contrasting uh, fabrics. Okay. Where this one's going to be a little bit more subtle. But won't it be fun and exciting to see. Now we are going to stitch... We're going to stitch from diagonal to diagonal. Just pick them up, put them in your machine, get that all the way up to the needle. This is pretty easy block to make. Just got to stay on that straight line from diagonal to diagonal. And now would be the time when I would uh, put in a beginner and ender, except for I have another block to make. So why don't I just go ahead and use it as my beginner and ender. And what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is look at these are going to be my fun uh, are bobbins. Pretty. Aren't those, are those pretty? pretty? And the bobbins are going to be made like this. Now, what I want you to be aware of is that this is bias, okay? So don't be, um, there, it's got to go that way. Don't be uh, messing around too much with the bias. So I'm going to lay that on top of there so that it's squared up with the corner of that block. And I'm going to be really gentle with it. Now I can free up this block. And I need to cut the excess off. Now, if this was a bigger piece, okay, like let's say this was a four and a half inch square and this was a two and a half inch square, I could move over. A half an inch and sew again and get a, a nice big piece over here. If I just cut it and put it in a box, then this is all bias. So what happens is if you move over, like I did a quilt with these colors, 
And it had a bunch of um, of flying geese. Are those geese. your potato chips? No, we, these are for this block. Oh, I'm going to make a for, table runner for, for my... Quilt. Okay, yeah, for got my, it. Okay, but... Are these leftovers? These were all leftover. This whole basket. This whole basket. Dang. Yeah, there's over 800 in and here. And they're all perfectly trimmed This and would have been trash. This would have been trash. This was the part that I moved over a half an inch and sewed again. And now, when I square it up, there's enough fabric there that when I square it up, I can get a one and a half inch, which will sew in at one inch square. And if I put two of those together, then that gives me my flying geese for my, so these are all potential potato chip blocks. These are all the half square things. I love it. I know. I love it. And then with the rest of the fabric that's left over, I'll have enough to do these and these. So then these are all potentially wow. potato chip blocks that I'm going to make a table runner for my table because these are the colors in my kitchen. Ooh. This uh, jadeite because I collect that jadeite. Isn't that, that blue. Look that's at that. Aren't those just delicious? So this would have all been trash if I hadn't have moved over a half an inch, sewn again, and then cut between them and saved these. Now, this is just way too little. If I moved over a half an inch, I'd only have a piece that big, and there wouldn't be enough for seam allowances to sew that in. So all I'm going to do, now you can take your rotary cutter and measure a quarter of an inch there. I'm not going to bother. I can pretty much, it doesn't really even matter whether it's straight or whether it's a perfect quarter inch. It's the seam allowance, and it's not going to matter if it's straight or if it's not straight. My soup pot. Putting some vegetables in my soup pot. And I'm just going to wait until I have more pressing to do before I press these. Okay? Now, my next one. My next bobbin in my bobbin and spools block. I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to place that right on top of that, making sure that it lines up. Can they see that? Piece? Making sure it lines up right in the corner there. So a quarter of an inch. And if you want to, you can lower your stitch length. Okay. <coughs> Now, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and cut off that little dog ear. See that? Now, I'm just going to press that with my finger. And I'm going to put my next piece on. Now, refer to your diagram how that goes, okay? It's going to go there. And so this time, I'm going to put this piece on top. and sew it. And you could pin that, but I'm just going to hold it with my finger because there's a seam okay, under there. Okay, i got to stop you. Okay. You know what I just realized? What? <laughs> I feel so dumb. Okay, the name of the block is Spool and Bobbin, and the uh -huh. picture in the book her fabric has spools. spools. Uh -huh. Why am I just now noticing that? I don't know why that oh, is, Peter. Oh, my goodness. Now, see, it, it's better before you press it <sighs> open to go ahead and cut those. That's hilarious. Okay. Cut those so that they're exactly. Now, when you cut these... It's a 7 8 inch increment. Go ahead and cut them the 7 8 inch increment. Do not, do not uh, go up to the full increment, okay? Same with these. These are a 7 8 inch increment. Don't, don't bump them up. This is one of those times where you just got to trust me. And did you see how I just finger pressed that? so that I could put it right in my sewing machine. It's such a tiny piece. I could just finger press that. I'm going to again...
cut off the excess. I want you to see the difference. See, I didn't cut that one off. I did that on purpose so you could see the difference. Because now when I place that on my block, had I cut this one off, it would fit perfect. Okay, I am going to press now. I'm going to get my clapper. Put this back in here. Get my trash. Put some soup in my soup pan. I'm going to get my iron right here, Peter. You know, you almost need a mini iron because I have my regular iron and, you know, when you press as you sew, you almost need something smaller than your regular iron. I've come to appreciate and found. I don't have that. I don't have a small iron yet, but that's on my list. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, well, I made a quilt this week yeah. that I had to do this to 400 blocks, uh -huh. one on each side. Uh-huh. 400 blocks, 800 two inch squares on each side. Yeah. Had I not had my little iron, I would have had to stand at my ironing board to press 800 blocks open. No, thank you. I'm going to sit at my table with my nice comfy chair. Speaking of which, we're having a sale on our chairs. Um, I hope everybody out there is getting our newsletter, aren't you? Peter, because mm -hmm. today we're having a big fat quarter sale. Mm -hmm. I get, and I mean, I when I say big, I mean big. I've been buying fat quarters every week. Fat <laughs> quarters are $1.50. They're never going to be $1.50 again because prices of fabric have gone up so much that uh, the $1.50 is just kind of a hip, hip, hurrah, we'll never see this again kind of a sale. So Yeah, it's kind of like goodbye past a past um, fabric Goodbye prices. Goodbye being able to buy fabric at yeah. a good, uh, decent price. It's all going up. It's last call. It's, it's last basically, call. La you know when you go, okay, it's last call. Last call. Yeah. And so, if you live in the area and uh, you're needing some nice fabric for a, a good price, I would suggest you make your way to the quilt shop. How long does the sale go on, Peter? How long does the sale go on? Yeah. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, today's already Monday. It's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're open till 7.30 Wednesday. So open till 7.30 Wednesday. So if you really want to be last call, you can come in here on Wednesday, you know, evening. But don't do it because it'll all be picked over. Oh, we won't sell all of our 23,000 fat quarters we have. I know, but they'll be picked over, and the only things that'll be left are the... They won't be picked the up. The dogs? Right? No, we, we have didn't so even much. We have no dogs. We, we don't have dogs. We don't even have dogs. And trust me, you will find fat quarters even if you came in last minute. Okay. You'll find so much. Okay. You'll have, hey, to, be put, includes, you'll have to be putting them back. Well, that includes the ones that are out on the floor. Not just the ones that we've been cutting for a long time, but even the the newer ones. I mean, if it's already cut into a fat quarter, it's $1.50. Mm-hmm. Okay, Peter, look at this. Check this out. See, I've checking? got my little emerald. Oh, hey, here. on your 800 deals that you had to press, yeah. did you press them as you did them? You didn't just stand and do them all at one time, right? Oh, yes, I did. I sewed them all, and then I pressed them Okay, all. you sewed them all, and you were sitting down in your comfy chair, and you were pressing them all. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I did, it was an 84 by 84 quilt, and I did it in four days. I know. It took me four hours to cut it out. So, anyway, <clears throat> so here's my emerald. <laughs> I love the way I've changed the diamond is to an emerald. Is it emerald in the what city? Uh, Dangerous city? In the, it is called the, in the rough city. But we're calling it the. <clears throat> the emer emerald in the rough, rough city. city. <laughs> okay, so see how I've, I've, you know, put the, like I didn't put these two together. I, uh. Opposing corners. Oppo Thank you. That's yeah, yeah, the word yeah. I was looking for. Opposing yeah. corners. That's what uh, exactly the word I was using for. So now I'm going to sew this one to this one and this one to this one. And what I'm going to do when I line those up, I'm going to make sure that that diagonal meets up. You know how I'm always peeking to mm -hmm. see that my seams are, are matching up? 
Yeah, I did that 800 times this week. 800 times. And I sound bitter about it, but you know what? It was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I sound bitter about it. <laughs> I, I, I don't you, know I why I was sound sounding. Like, wait, I think you sound like you're just glad it's over. <laughs> I kind of am glad it's over because I have so many other things I need to get done. <laughs> you have to move on to the next 800. But, uh, yeah, but I was enjoying it very much. I really was. Um, yeah. And, you know, a while back you and I were talking that uh, I hadn't made a low volume quilt, which means it doesn't have a lot of contrast. Yeah. The quilt. Well, this was a low-volume quilt. So oh. now I can't say I've never made a low-volume quilt because this one was a low-volume quilt. Dawn, do you have a low-volume? I don't have a low-volume. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I never made a low-volume. That must be the reason because I don't have a low I don't even have an on and off switch. <laughs> I mean, I know people wish that the Lord had given me one, but he did not. He did not. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to cut it. Now, this one I cut on both sides so that you could see the difference between the ones that, are, that I've trimmed and the ones I didn't trim. Okay, let me open this up. Now, another reason I love to open seams is because now... Look at there. Look at how nice and flat that lays, but I can also see where that yes, point quarter is. Yes, inch, baby. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's super nice. Yeah, super nice. So then here's my uh, square. I mean, my... You know, uh, that's a good point. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I mean, I guess when I was matching these blocks up, I looked for that little, that spot. Yeah. And I knew from watching your videos what to do with it. Yeah. But it, it never crossed my mind that if you didn't press open, you wouldn't necessarily uh -huh. get that. Yeah. So what now, happened to your corner? Yeah, I trimmed it off. No, that corner. That's what I mean. I trimmed it off so I could see. It's broken. That I was going to be at a nice quarter inch. Okay, I'm doing this one too. So I'm going to put them right sides together. Did you trim now them off a quarter of an inch? Now look at this. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. On your corners, did you trim those off a quarter of an inch? Did, were you did not you just... watching when I did it? I, I was did it when talking. they. Yeah, when. See? I trimmed it when I pressed it, after I pressed it. So you folded it up and then trimmed it? It was already folded from when I sewed it. And then you just trimmed and it. And then I just trimmed it. I did it. see you do that. Yeah. But I didn't realize that that's... Why I was doing it. Yes. Now I get it. Oh, I know why, because that one time I consulted with you about 20 minutes on how to fix my block that was so rough. Uh-huh. I didn't know it was that simple. Uh -huh. Okay, and I'm going to pin this. And instead of pinning it there, see, I don't have a point to actually pin it to. Okay. So I'm pinning it so it doesn't move. And then I've got this on the top so I can see right where that is. So I know I'm not going to bite down into that because that's my point. Okay, got the point? Get the point? I must have oversized these. That's how I figured out that I didn't want you guys to oversize them. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. because that's if you don't oversize them, they'll fit on there perfect. Get that dirt. Don't run over your pins. Now, one thing I did discover this weekend was, have you ever had a time when your bobbin thread doesn't seem, I mean, your, your needle thread, your top thread, doesn't want to connect to your bobbin thread, and then your... Your bobbin thread doesn't connect, and so then there's no stitches. And when you take your bobbin out, it's kind of backed up a whole big bunch. Do you know what causes that? Mm -mm. Your needle is not up far enough. When you replace, I had replaced my needle, mm -hmm. okay, and I hadn't gotten it up. 
okay. all the way. Just thought it was up all the way. I thought it was up all the way, screwed it in, and then my bobbin kept acting up. Well, if your needle is not in the right position, it cannot get the bobbin thread in the right position and pull it to where it needs to be. So when you change your needle, make sure that you're getting that needle all the way up in the shaft because if you don't, it won't connect right to your bobbin and then you'll have a little difficulty there. I wanted to share that because that happened to me this week. I thought, why is that? That's a good tip. Why does that keep doing that? And I thought. And it worked fine before, right? Oh yeah, before I changed my needle. Yeah. And I just hadn't gotten it up all the way. And I mean, it could be off by a a micro milligram or whatever those are. <laughs> I don't know measurements, but anyway. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it could be off just by a little bit. So make sure you get that up. So once I discovered what was going on, didn't take me long to figure it out, but I figured it out. And then um, once I did that, I um, immediately had success. Let me find something to sew this to. I gotta put my starter and ender in because I'm pressing and I wanna press this piece that's under my sew machine because I've run out of block. So. Mm, this is delicious, look at this. Look at how Ooh. fun that pink is with that pink and that black. Yeah, that's <gasps> nice. Love! Who doesn't love sewing? I love sewing. Do you, Peter? Mm -hmm. It's creative. It's It gets your creative juices going. And, uh, you know, I used to think it was so stupid to buy fabric, cut it up, and then sew it back together again. But it's the patterns, it's the creativity of, of making the patterns. So what did you get to work on on Sunday? Sunday is my cross stitch day. So actually, if you want to know the truth, Saturday night I quit early on my quilt, my mega quilt. And I got in uh, some cross stitch that evening so that I could work on finishing the quilt yesterday. Hmm. So that's what I did. I got my cross stitch in on Saturday night and then uh, went ahead and uh, did the quilting on the quilt because I had to get it done by the day. It needed to go in the UPS today. So, okay, look, I'm getting ready to sew this together. Oh. I love that. I love, I that. love the way that that green Works with that blue gray. It just, looks great. it just is just yummy. Of course, you know anything green. I'm in. I'm in for anything green. So the cross stitch is it a new pattern? Is it a shop sample? No, is it a one no. From your it's archives? just from. It's just for me. It's a huge, huge. It's going to take me a year to get it done. It's a big one. It's a big one. Uh, I'm doing it on forty counts linen. Is it one of your favorite designers? It is. It's uh, modern folk uh, embroidery. Modern folk, yeah, modern folk embroidery. Uh, he's from. Ooh, I don't know where he's from. He's Danish. Hmm. Traditional or modern? Very. Uh, this is a reproduction. This is not a reproduction. This is one of his uh, block of the month oh, or things cool. of the month. Well, shoot, we might have to. We might have to get together on that. And we might check have it out. to get together on that one. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, now look at this. These have to be squared up. Oh, they do. And what do? I should have done. Do? Yeah. Why? See, I'm talking too much and I'm not thinking. It's because I'm distracting you. Well, I'm just not thinking right. Okay, I'll be quiet. No, no, it's fine. Oh, that has to be squared up because you oversized the black? Yes. Uh, it's all making sense now. Yeah. So. 
rotary cutter. And have you ever noticed that no, your that your triangle ruler has <laughs> no, a center line? I hadn't noticed. So I can now, instead of taking, instead of saying, "Oh, I'll just take everything off of one corner right, or right, whatever," right. you now can line up on your seam line. But you can also, because this is real important that that be in the center, huh. you can do it on your center well, line. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Have you and Cappy been collaborating on the notion? Of we the have week? not, because Cappy's been on vacation also. Oh. Okay, so now here is the reason, a good reason why we have those. Um, And that, that's wacky there, but it'll that'll sew, sew that'll in. sew into my seam allowance, yeah. and I'm not going to worry about it. What I was really worried about was, was that, that right point? there, that point. Isn't that luscious? Now, is there anything that says I couldn't square this up pressed open? Oh, I could do that. Of course. No problem. But why, but you got make, tools. Four, <laughs> why make four cuts when I'd have to turn the block? It's because you got that magical ruler. I got this wonderful ruler. Once you have that ruler, you never want to square anything other than. I know if it's it. You want to use this. Course. Yeah. If it's half squares. Well, you know, I'm glad I caught that that had that line on there. Yeah, that's, isn't, that's convenient. That's nice. Well, that's we've never had nice. we've never had to use it like that before. Right. You know, we're usually just two plain pieces together making a half square triangle, but since we've got this. Um, this thing that we have to center up, this other square. Look at that. Look at that. I love that. That's awesome. That looks awesome. And that's going to give you your angle. Over here, I just have to make the angle up. But yeah, isn't that nice? Now put the trash in the soup tin. Okay. Keep everything tidy, tidy and mighty. Okay, now that's gonna go like that. Look at your chart. <laughs> and now we're gonna do this one to this, like that. And I'm not gonna pin because I don't really have any points or anything that I have to make sure stay in place. Sew that in. So, Peter, this uh, this quilt I've been talking about that I my top secret quilt. Did I see it by any chance? No, you didn't. It's in a box going. To so the I never US. saw it. You never got to see it, but I can show you a picture of it. Oh, I saw something else. It's in the new catalog. I saw something else. It's in the. New <gasps> Ooh, I'll go look in the catalog. Yeah, I'll show it to you. But anyway, it had twelve and a half inch. Uh, background squares between the pieced squares. And you know that big 12 and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler that I bought and you said, what in the world? What in the world? Got all those in a matter of seconds. That's with amazing because that it was 12 and a half inch wide. And that's exactly by 24. Like so I could cut the strips 12 and a half, 12 and a half. That's 12 ridiculous. And, a half, and I could just turn the, turn the strips and then 12 and a half, 12 and a half. And I mean, you know. That kind of worked out perfectly, didn't it? Well, that's what that ruler's for. You know, those creative grid people. They know what they're doing, they, don't they? I guess if they make it, there's a reason why. Yeah. <laughs> they're not just trying to sell you rulers that you don't need. Right. <laughs> they know. I mean, they, they're... They well, I remember... I'll, I'll remember. You you used a... Um, I think it was a 12-inch square. Yeah, it's hanging up there, the 12-inch square. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking, okay, let me go ahead and get that ruler. And I'm thinking, I'm never going to use this thing, ever. And then I, I love that thing that for, something? oh gosh, when it's time to trim your quilt after it's all done. Yep. Love it. It's yummy. I even need a bigger one now. Yeah. I need like a 24 square or 18 square, something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the 18 square I have, not the 12. The 12 is looking small. It's 18. Okay, now this went together pretty fast, don't you think? What's important is that you match these up and they came together pretty good. 
There's a subtle difference, but I kind of like that. You know how when you have an yes. emerald and it's cut, yeah. there's just that slight little difference. Even yeah. though it's all green, it's just a slight little difference. I really like that. So, I call it sparkle. Sparkle. That's the sparkle. It has so sparkle. see the difference? Whole different personality, really. And now I'm going to do this one. And I just love that I chose this pink to go with that black background that has those pink swirls in it. Heck, I might have to remake mine um, and do different. No, do different shades of purple on my diamond or different shades of oranges. Well, there's because the, I think I missed the. I don't think I was paying attention to what it was called when I made it. So they're so quick and fun. Yeah. You know. Okay. That might be a redo. Yeah, that might be. Okay. So then... Sometimes you look, gotta remake the block if you don't like look, it. Look, just gonna put that together, but look at how that's got that fun pink. Now, is there a variation on this? If you flipped and turned and twisted and rotated and did something different? I don't... I don't think the choice is... I mean, that's your two choices right there. Two choices. Okay. What'd you do on your vacation? Tell us how. Uh, slept. Slept. Sewed. Slept. Were you uh, Ate, Were you deprived slept. some sleeping, or what was the deal with the slept, slept, slept? You just like to sleep, or what's the deal? I mean, you know, if you can sleep, you're gonna sleep. Do some sleeping and eating. That's what I did. Oh, okay. Sleeping and eating. We got Dad on a new uh, schedule, so I'm getting a lot more sleep myself. Are you getting some sleep? Yeah. I shouldn't be as grouchy. Now, don't hold me to that. Just saying. You did pretty good for not sleeping for the last two years. Yeah. Or a year. Yeah. I'm just going to say. Okay, thanks. I don't know how you did it. But, These you know. leaders and enders right here could be making me some potato chip You know, plants, okay, so if you Those don't, are at home. If you don't sleep and you got all that time. I sew. Then you can get a lot of sewing done. I do. How do you think that I got a quilt done in four days, Peter? 84 <laughs> by 84 in four days. <laughs> oh, brother. Mm. Okay, one more seam to press open. And did I press open all those seams? Yes, I did. Of all those blocks I did? Yep. yep. You better believe. You better believe. Oh, I do love that now. Compare that to this, a t totally different wow. look. Totes. Totally different. Totes. Love it. Let's go put them on our board. Put them on the board. Let's put them on the board. Take a trip through, hey, rough, now, through the I, rough city. I don't city. know how we're going to have to redo these, but, you know, we're getting quite a board here. We don't have so, to. It goes all the way to the right. Here's Cappy's. It goes all the way to the right, Dawn. Okay. That here's, means all that stuff's coming down. Oh, okay. There's Cappy's. Here's the Peter block. The Peter memory blocks. Here's mine. That looks wacky weird. How come that's so weird looking? What's weird? I mean, it doesn't look like it's square. Mm. Four and a half, four and a half. Well, it's not. Let me trim that puppy up. This is why we've got to square them up. Now I've got to make sure that my my tip is at the quarter inch. Man, how'd that happen? I might have to redo that. I think I know how it happened. How did when it happen? I was when I was watching you do the squaring up your triangles, uh -huh. when you were running that rotary cutter, uh -huh. the corner of that block kind of scooched under the ruler a little see, bit. See, doesn't that look pretty good? Yeah. Now, see, you got to square things up. Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's that. Oh, it goes this way. Okay, got to square things up. And then here is my uh, Kim Deal one. Not Kim Deal. Yeah, Kim Deal. Yeah. And then here's Peter's uh, cheddar and coal with a little bit of grape. Oh. Okay. Pretty, huh? Look at that. 
Yeah. It's really coming together, right. don't you think? Yeah. And we're only on buck, uh, this is buck 14, 13 and 14. Wow. So, looking good. Hope everybody's enjoying it. Hope that you uh, had a great, great uh, Mother's Day. My mother's not with us, but I put a picture of her on my Facebook page. And uh, she was a pretty woman. I unfortunately look like my dad, not my mom. So um, there you go with that. Take it as it comes. And uh, next week, more blocks. How fun. Have a good week. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.